So let's look at a simple example of how do you define variables and how many variables can one need, let's say. So that basically how many variables will you need depends on your problem. In this example of a soda deal, soft, soft drinks are sold in cans and bottles. A store offers a six pack or 12 ounce cans and for the same price, uh, for the same price as a two little bottle. What should you buy? Right, so that is the question. And you have to write a, let's say a computer program regarding this, okay, or a Python code for this. And then you're told that 12 uh, fluid ounces is these many liters, okay? So what kind of variables will you need or can you need? So you look at your problem, and in this case, we are told about what? Uh, cans per pack, right? How many cans are in one pack? So offers a six pack. So we know, need, know there are six cans per pack. How many are ounces are in one can? How many ounces are in a bottle? That is a liter bottle, right? So that's the only way you can compare this, right? So now that we, we know that these are the variables that we want, what are the types of these variables, right? So that's another thing. So whenever we, what is the type of a variable? We talk about uh, numbers, decimals, or characters, right? And so on. So first name is a variable. My name is Zaki, so Z-A-K-I. So those are the characters, and the variable is first name, let's say, right? So I cannot be, uh, like first name cannot be 44.3, right? So that's a different thing. So in this case, number of cans, obviously you cannot have decimal cans in a pack, that's a whole number. Ounces in a can is given as 12, it's not 12.0, hence this is a whole number as well. But ounces in a bottle is uh, likely to be in decimals because uh, in 12 uh, fluid ounces, it's these many liters. So in a two liter bottle, you can multiply. So you may end up with a number with a fraction, right? Hence, these will be the data types. In Python, you don't need to explicitly define these. In other languages, you do. But in Python, the type of the number is overwritten or is overrided by whatever you define it to be. So in this case, if you define cans per pack equals six, this is dealt as a whole number or as an integer. If you call a variable's value as 12.0, now these two are different data types. This is dealt as a float or a decimal number, and the top one is an integer or a whole number, okay? And then if you want to define a sequence of characters, you have to define inside quotes. So you can say first name equals quote start, Bob quotes end. And that will be called a string. The data type is string. But this is just for your information, you explicitly don't define data types here. That are um, implicitly uh, read by Python compiler, okay? 